Welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for joining us again. Our guest is Jeff Prang. Jeff is the mayor pro tem of the city of West Hollywood. Sir, we thank you again for joining us. My on pleasure. Local Edition. Thanks, Brad. Uh, when you look at the political landscape in Sacramento, I think most of us presumed that the governor would be able to get a budget plan passed that would have half cuts and half extension of current taxes that were passed a couple of years ago. The cuts were passed. Mm -hmm but it does not look like we're going to see this extension of tax hikes in it, June. It doesn't appear as though we're going to ha have the sort of bipartisan support that we need to get the, to get a uh, legitimate budget proposal through. The governor, I give him a lot of credit, he has probably worked harder than any governor in recent memory uh, to work both sides of the aisle to try to come up with compromise. Uh, the Democrats made significant cuts, $12 billion in cuts to programs and services, which are going to have a profound and devastating impact on those people who have to endure those cuts. But but he is unable to convince enough uh, legislators to vote to put the, the tax extension, not tax increase, an extension right. um, on the ballot. So let's talk about what that means for cities like West Hollywood. I know most state funding flows through counties, but I have to presume that cities will be impacted by the fact that there's going to have to be even more cuts because the governor said no gimmicks, all cuts now. Well, any types of programs that come, that, where, where there's subventions that come back to the cities, whether it be for, for law enforcement or social services, et cetera, are going to be uh, in, in jeopardy. But probably more important is the loss of those services that are provided by the state and by counties are going to put a tremendous burden on cities. You're going to have people who are uh, you know, seniors who won't have their in-home health care workers. Um, you're going to have inmates so being re released from prisons back into our community. Do those responsibilities then fall on cities to try to pick up the slack? Whether they may not fall within our jurisdiction right. uh, and responsibilities, but we are de facto going to be responsible for them. We're going to have homeless people. We're going to have inmates being released from from uh, uh, from prisons. We're going to have seniors and the disabled who don't have any services. And you can't just abandon these people. So it's going to cost cities more money. It's going to cost impacts on so, our services. So what's the answer? Because look, what the governor needed was two Republicans in the assembly, two Republicans in the state senate. He could not get those two. What's the answer? Uh, it appears that, as though one of the strategies that the governor is looking at currently is to try to uh, qualify a ballot measure for November. It would ideally it would be best for the legislature to put it on for June. We've I think we've already passed the point of no return on but, a June ballot. But the ballot. challenge with that is is part of the sell, and let's talk about right. the politics of it. The sell for the June initiative would have been these are not new taxes. This is the, uh, they are extensions right. of existing taxes. In November, theoretically, they're new taxes. Right. The um, yes, there will be there will be restored taxes in November because the taxes will have I to lapse. One could argue the of, that they'll have to lapse at the end of uh, of June and be restored. So it'll be a different argument. It will be harder to uh, to sell. At the same time, between June and November, when those services are cut, people in every city, single city, town, and county throughout the state are going to feel the consequences of those cuts. And we've got to make some some decisions. What type of state do we want to live in? Right. Do we want to live in a state where people are going to be that heavily impacted? He, or are we going to spend a little bit of money to but, make sure the, 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 the most challenged amongst, the, amongst us are taken care of? But here's the challenge. You hear a lot of people screaming and crying about these cuts, how draconian they'll be. But then you have some very effective radio talk show hosts who are able to just pound away at arguably moderate Republicans and they just won't jump. They're, they're using scare tactics and they're using them very, very effectively. The, the part of the problem is a lot winning. of winning. They are winning and it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating for those of us who, uh, who are in government who actually recognize what the consequences are going to be. When students in our California community colleges and universities start seeing tuition hikes, mm -hmm. uh, when, they're, when, they're, when admissions are reduced, when, Tough when, times. when medical right. services are cut. Okay, Jeff Prine, thanks for joining us. He is Mayor Pro Tem of West Hollywood. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to HLN.